Welcome to another Out of Spec Renew video. Today we are here in Long Beach with Lewis and his fantastic Model Y. We've <laughs> never seen anything like it and I want to know everything about your build. So carry on, tell us everything about your Y. Well, this Model Y was inspired by a lowrider theme. So me and my girlfriend actually decided which Tesla we would want to do it with. So then other than that, um, she actually chose all the colors, all the artwork, all the sad clown girls, the, the leafing, the chroming, everything was her design. So um, it just took her to all my shops and they helped her out with that. All right. So was it your first build? Uh, actually, her first build? It's her first build. Um, I helped her along with the, her first build. But other than that, I've had like five prior builds. Okay. And, you know, there was Scion TCs, trucks, you know, the Honda Civic Type R, stuff like that. So your first EV build? First EV build, yes. So what made you choose a Model Y to start? So the Model Y, it was more of uh, more economical for her to have an electric car. So basically she wanted a 64 Chevy Impala ragtop convertible. <laughs> and basically yeah, nice. we didn't want to dump all that money. And you know, you can only go 55, 60 on the, on the freeway, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so yeah. this was actually in her benefit. All right. So you started with a brand new Model Y and then you got cracking. Yes. The first thing we did was uh, we ripped out the interior and we did the headlighter and then now we did the frunk and now we did uh, air ride suspension. We did a lot of uh, custom wheels. We have Forgi Auto custom Tesla wheels. Uh, you name it. It's on here. All we right. touched every piece. Let's walk around the car. Tell us about what it takes to do such a crazy paint job. So um, we have uh, Jose, which he's out in uh, Paramount, California. He actually helped us uh, build the, the schematic uh, rendering of the paint job. And basically what we did is a 17 stage uh, paint job. Wow. So yeah, it's everything is hand painted and all the murals, the girls on the side, um, the airbrushing on the dashboard, um, the airbrushing on the center console and right at the door as well is all custom. So how long would it take to do a paint job like this? Um, this took about four months. The whole build took about nine months, okay. um, but there was dedication, 100% dedication, um, you know, with all of our sponsors as well. So they helped us out. So every weekend was spent. Every <laughs> weekend was spent in the shop somehow, some way. All right. And everywhere it's painted. So is it a candy color? Or yes, there's uh, seven different candies on here, plus the stock paint um, that we added candy on top of that as well. All right. So so the original color was red. Okay, yeah. perfect. So that helps. Yeah. yeah. Uh, you have quite a body kit also. Yes, we have a diffuser, add-on diffuser, and then an add-on front bumper lip. And um, yeah. And spoiler. Spoiler, yep. Get to check out the place. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> and then you Love can check this out on the top. You can, this actually says the whole paint job right here. It has everything on it. Everything is on that. We have the tiger stripes, fadeaways, we have the droplets, we have droplets there, we have candy, we have glitter. The whole paint job is literally in that little square right there. <laughs> <laughs> so I guess the car uh, gained a few pounds with yes, all the paint sure and Yes, it sure did. It sure did. 100% yeah. it did. Tell us about those wheels. So these are 4G Auto 22s. Um, FCK Lighting sponsored us on the wheel well kit. Yeah. And then um, they're a custom center floating uh, Tesla center cap. So when you're driving, yeah. Doesn't matter how fast you go, the Tesla yeah. sign stays up. Are the tires custom made also? Um, Vogue is one of our biggest sponsors. Uh, they give us about four tires a year. I mean, actually four sets of tires a year. And then, yeah, they cut, those are custom made. With the white wall yep. and the yellow spray. Yeah, white spring. walls and the spokes. Yeah, yeah try to keep it like a lowrider theme. <laughs> All right. Is there a particular theme to the all the paintbrush uh, um well. everything just has to do with um what the car brought out so basically what i mean by that is like this is a chicano hispanic you know traditional paint job from the 90s um so we actually had like the little sad clown girls but we have yeah. the like the twist they have like little tesla uh <laughs> you know gang member little signs and whatnot with the la background and then this is uh albert einstein yeah. and uh you know that that speaks for itself <laughs> <laughs> And a very special uh, charge port. Yeah, very <laughs> special charge port, yes. <laughs> All right. Um, did you do anything to the roof? 
Um, nothing to the roof. The only thing is we tinted it with a uh, extra 15% uh, okay. tint. All right. But uh, yes, everything else, it, uh, the full interior is done by Chewy's upholstery. Um, and that's Tell us about our, your, your club. Yeah, so our club is called Immaculate Styles. We've been uh, part of this industry for about maybe 20 years already. All right. So we've been around for a while, but uh, all my builds have to do with uh, some type of a lowrider spin. All right. <laughs> And it is indeed quite a sexy why. There you go, yeah, Instagram and, and uh, TikTok. All right. um, tell us about the air suspension. So the air suspension I got done by Hoppos and Icebox Customs. Um, Hoppos did the aesthetics and uh, all the hard line for us. And then uh, Icebox Customs did the suspension and the airbags itself. So okay. he worked under and, and uh, Hoppos worked on top. His name is Alex. Do they come from the lowrider scene? Yes, they both do mini trucking and lowrider and basically everything under the sun. They, they just, they're just car guys. Okay. <laughs> now let's check out the interior. Yeah, no, absolutely. Oh, something I, I did not notice first is you have mi uh, mirrors on the ground. Yes. Uh, let's check them out. Yeah, so uh, the mirrors on the ground actually um, have the reflection of... Um, look at that. It's called Whittier Boulevard. So basically it's uh, <laughs> where low riding started. Yes. And basically I have uh, murals under the car, um, which we're still in progress. We're going to add a lot more <laughs> detail under the vehicle That's as nice well. Touch. I haven't seen this before on the Tesla. <laughs> First so one only. Nice First one, one. only. <laughs> so, yeah, same so, yeah, vinyl here. Same thing here. We have just vinyl work, and then we also have custom, uh, you know, upholstery again by Chewy's Auto Upholstery in um, nice. Carson, uh, California. As a covers over the original. Uh, no, no this is fully, fully reupholstered. Yeah. Re yes, yeah. yes, yes. Dashboard is yep. the same. The, a yep. pillar. Yeah. Full. Yep. So you have a Starlight. Yeah, Starlight by Starlight Auto. Yes. And uh, yeah, they uh, they did our headliner and our mm. pillars. Custom yoke. Custom yoke, yes. And uh, I candied it myself, so I, at least I did something. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, Chewy's upholstery also did that nice as well. Nice one. Yeah. Quite a fluffy uh, yes. carpet. Yeah, huh? we have shag carpet throughout the whole yeah. car as well. And the back will be the same, pretty much, yes. Yes, and those are uh, that's also artwork by uh, VFX Designs. So um, is this painted? Or uh, no, is it vinyl? this is actual vinyl. So yeah. we uh, we will do a different theme uh, in the near future, but we will change the girls out and everything. But right. you know, a little stuff. bit of everything. So what was the most challenging part of this build? Because um, it seems like it never ends. Like everything is custom. There's nothing stuck. <laughs> so the hardest part was, I would say, the audio system. So we have a Folkow Utopia 17-speaker um, system. Yeah. And um, I can show you in the back what we have um, yeah. shortly. But uh, basically, it, that was the biggest challenge, um, is the wiring and making sure everything sounds Right and, and all right, yeah, it's quite a setup indeed. Yeah, yeah. So we have two tens. Uh, we have a Moscone uh, digital processor, and we have two amps for our highs, and we have one amp for our subwoofers. So the total amount for work on this whole system is about twenty five thousand wow. dollars. Yeah. And for people wondering, this is your wife's daily driver. She is, yes. I mean, it is. Uh, she drives this about 150 miles a day and uh, from Hemet, California to uh, downtown LA. All right, fantastic. <laughs> yeah. So where our viewers could see your car next? Are you doing shows uh, this summer and later this year? Yeah, we do about 30 shows wow. a year. Yeah. Yes, and then we actually, um, we have a couple more left throughout the rest of the year. Uh, but yeah, we c you always see her on the 91 freeway, the 710. <laughs> 405, you know, yeah. everybody tags us all the time. Any sponsors you wanted to mention? Yeah, no, uh, all of our sponsors uh, want to just bring it up to the back of this window and we can see who our sponsors all right, are. All right. Yeah. Always nice to be supported and to support oh, sponsors. Yeah. yeah, we have Allen Eds, Hoppos, and we have Universal Air, Starlight Auto, VFX Designs, and uh, we have CLJ Customs, Nicola Customs, and JS Auto Paint design, Chewy's interior, Teslux innovations, Vogue tires, <laughs> Revali paint protection, and GR1 airbrushing. So those right, are all, all right. my sponsors. Um, do you know of anybody else doing a low rider theme built on Tesla's or any other EV at the moment? Well, yeah, I actually have a, a friend of mine, um, you know, we talk online, but he's actually doing a Cybertruck. So nice. a Cybertruck with a uh, similar 
type of theme. So okay. yeah, we'll see what he does. So would it be sl slammed down to the ground? And I'm not it, sure. Yeah. It's going to be a challenge, I think, yeah. for to slam it. But um, he does have the wire wheels already, and he uh -huh. does already <laughs> he already has it in paint because he owns a paint shop. So okay, all yeah. right. Uh, yeah, that's something we were wondering because we've seen a lot of Cybertruck. Con uh, wrapped yes but not many painted yet right uh, even polished for like fully yes. polished mirror yes. finish yes but uh, we still need to see one painted and i look forward to seeing one yeah so thank you so much for letting letting us film your fantastic sexy <laughs> why um, guys if you like what you saw today and you want to see more modified model wise and other crazy built with such a fantastic pay job hey jerome you want to take this for a spin absolutely <laughs> let's go <laughs> Guys, if you like what you saw today, let us know in the comments below. Give us a thumbs up and tell us if you want to see more electric bikes on the channel. Guys, I'll see you in the next one.